Oh yeah. Um, I'm going to do a video today to explain uh, how to fit 220 um, lenses onto Xiaomi Yi's. But I'm going to do two things on this. Um, as a lot of you are probably aware, the, um, the Xiaomi's come with the uh, lens fixed. So the focus is fixed at what seems to be a selfie distance. So it's been focused for that reason, which for a lot of people that obviously is not good enough. So <clears throat> there's plenty of movies, uh, YouTube videos out there showing you how to do this. And so I'm going to kind of cover the same process because I'm rep actually replacing the lens. So I'm going to cover both. Um, also, um, I'm going to say right now, if you mess up your camera, it's not my fault. All right, if, if you're going to have a go at this, right, then it's completely your responsibility. Um, but I'm just giving you the information how to do this. Um, I have to wear these glasses, okay? It's it's fiddly, um, and I, I have a very special technique. It's called let my wife do it. Uh, she has much better eyesight than me, so um, but I was going to get her to do this, but she doesn't want to be in the camera, so fair enough. Um, right, so... Um, let's uh let's get started see i've got some bits so let me just switch over hang on right so oh, okay let's go back and just show you so so the idea of this is as, as you can see i've got here the brahma duo which is the two the two-way camera rigs and you can see underneath underneath me you see there comes in a slim version and the standard version you can see there the uh, standard version. The reason the cameras are, are further apart is so that the cables, because the, the Xiaomi has the cables at the back. So if you want, to, we have a power supply adapter coming along. So you can set these up for some time. Um, and if you want to do that, then you need to get to the cables. I All my all my videos I've done so far, good or bad, you decide whether you like them or not, but we're done with the standard rig. Um, I'm going to be going away uh, and testing the slim one. Um, but uh, the results I've had wasn't much in it as far as stitching. Yes, I'm sure that it will be better. Um, anyway, I'm digressing, so let's get into this whole um, what to do. Now, I've kind of, in blue pit, because I've got such bad eyesight, well, it's not that bad, but, you know, I've got reasonably bad eyesight. I've got one of my Xiaomi's. <laughs> I was going to get Caroline to actually do one, and I thought, well, hang on a second. Now, this is my rig. I don't want to destroy it. So what I've done is I've actually taken the cover. I'm not going to talk you through it, but not actually do it as such but the, 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 I'm going to show you the whole process so it should be fairly clear so let me switch hang on let's get to a much better camera okay right here we go so here is the standard Xiaomi okay it's, um, and you notice I've actually popped the lid so basically what you want to do is get either you've got two choices either um, a very small a flat bladed screwdriver, a knife, or I use one of these if you can see this. It's actually made for this kind of thing. So you, you kind of put it under there. And, and if you can see, these are just little little clips and they clip all the way round into the case. And that's all that's holding this top on. So you work your way round very gradually and it, it pops up and what have you. Um, and just do it, to, I would start in the middle and then work your way along very slowly. Do it gently because you, what you don't want to do is to snap this case, okay? Because obviously it's got the button, you know, it's got bits. It's, it's not, it, it, they're fairly strong actually. I did actually break one of the clips on one of them, but um, let me get a bit closer. Um, so you've got to take that lid off, okay? That's the first thing. Um, so once you've got that off, we'll put that to one side for a moment. Now, this is where the fun bit is. Okay, so if hopefully you can see, right, I hope I've got enough light here, but there's a little reflection there. There's a little dob. They put a little dob of hot melt on here. Okay, so a little tiny bit. You'll see it. And if you've got bad eyesight, don't even think of doing this. Okay. Um, but there's a little dob of hot melt in there just just in there and it's also around this side here you might be able to see that bit a little bit better can you see it reflecting the light literally just there okay it's a little dob two dobs of um hot milk maybe three but usually two and you have to you have to loosen that because basically this lens screws into a thread okay now if i get one of the old ones here you can see can you see it's just basically a lens okay 
little lens there and it's got a thread on it and it just screws in okay and it's as, it's as simple as that it's not complicated right um uh i'll come back to the lens actually so i was going to show you the lens i use actually but anyway so um two ways of doing it um one way we've done it is with a, a very tiny screwdriver just literally break it off okay if you're delicate i'm not my eyes that's rubbish but um Caroline, she, she, she went in there and she managed to get this off uh, with no problem at all, actually. Um, maybe look quite stupid, actually, but yeah, that's what good eyesight does for you. Um, so you've got to remove that. Now, some um, someone else said that you can use a hot, um, not a hot gun, um, a hairdryer. And just put the hairdryer on it to get it up to temperature on both of them and warm them both up, both of the dobs of, because it's only, it's only hot glue, okay? to get it to the point where you can twist this lens and that's all you want to do okay now if you was just going to do that then just doing that will break the seal on the hot the, the glue okay and then if all you want to do now is just to focus this take it downstairs plug the AV cable into your back of your TV it's got an HDMI turn this on and then just focus it, put something in distance, I mean, you know, you know to focus, and do your manual focus, okay? Once you've got it focused, then you can just pop your lid back on. Because the shroud goes around it, you're not likely to be able to move the lens, okay? Yeah, you could just put a little, you know, maybe warm the, the um, hot melt up again, okay? Um, just to seal it again, but you shouldn't need to do that. And then that will allow you to just pop the lid off and just adjust it accordingly. That, that's all there is involved. There's no secret, no, because People have said about, oh, well, they're not focused right. Well, that's all you've got to do, okay? Just do that, focus it, and then away you go. However, we're not doing that. Okay, so I'm going to put this to one side for a second now. What we're going to do is we're going to take this lens out like this, and it just come, literally just comes out like that. It's just a cheap, actually a cheap plastic one, that one. The, um, the other one's actually a nicer, better quality, I think. Anyway, so there's there's the original lens. You take that out, and then oh, let me unscrew this for you. Now this this is what you're going to buy. Now if I switch back to here, I'll just show you the product. Now this is where I bought this one. There is another one out there which I haven't tested. Okay, let me just give you. Um, there is another another one out there, but this is the the site I bought it from Gearbest. And it, they were they were thirty pound <laughs> when I bought them. I bought them two for thirty quid, and they've been gradually going up. They're about forty five pound now, so they, they, they're going up in price. Um, they get more and more expensive. I think maybe people buying them think, oh, okay, put the price up anyway. So uh, and these are for. Don't be tempted by the ones at the bottom of the page. They're only one seventy degrees, and they're just to replace the existing lens. So you want this one? It's a two twenty degree wide angle lens. Okay, and it's on a, a an M12 thread. And it says here GoPro 4, 3 Plus, and 3. But of course, it fits the Xiaomi. Let's go back here. Right. Now, <clears throat> so we've got this lens here. And it, I mean, it just screws in. You know, it's not difficult. Right. Now, before you can do that, however, if you've got this, and if you try to put this through here and screw that into there, it would look really neat. The trouble is, it doesn't go down far enough. Okay, so it's not far enough, and you can't focus it. So this, it's it's quite annoying. It's quite disappointing. But anyway, so what you need to do is, you need to take this black plastic here off, and it comes off like that. Now, you will, if I get in here, you can see it's got these little clips up here that hold it in place, and you just pop these off. You will probably you probably won't get it back on again once you've done this. It's a it's a done deal, okay. So you you want to get this off, but don't bust it, okay. You know don't bust this doing it. Be very gentle, be patient. Pop these little pieces out here, the little bits there, and push them out. And eventually, with a bit of time, you can get this back black plastic comes off in one piece, no problem at all, okay. So you end up with that. Now, what you end up with which I should have taken this off actually, but what you do end up with them is pretty much that, but there's a load of pieces, which I don't want to take them on apart, so I can't show you. But you end up with little bits of plastic. Can you see how rough that is? There's a load of bit of plastic that's these bits in here that goes up, 
and holds that black on and you need to trim them off but for god's sake make sure you've got this away from the camera don't have anyone in the camera because you don't want any rubbish going in that hole onto the onto the sensor okay so what you do is then you just want to um, cut these off find them. i would suggest a very very sharp small little plastic cutters but not when it's on the cut on the camera okay when it's like that all right but just trim them off etc and just get it so far i mean this is actually very rough we, we haven't bothered tidying this up okay now once you've done that um make sure there's nothing in there now, if i just blow in there make sure there's nothing in there you don't want anything on that sensor okay that's very important the next job then is I mean, all you do is just gently put the put the the lens in there and you tighten it up okay and you hang on there we go now hopefully you understand the thing about you know when you roll it back until it clicks okay then start screwing do not cross the threads on this okay they will go in but if it feels tight loosen off and it's just just again go back until you hear it feel it click i don't know if i can hang on, i don't know if i can actually you can hear this but um hang on <laughs> all right take my word for it so you're reversing the thread going backwards until you feel it click and find so that you can screw this in with no problem at all and then you just keep screwing it into the device and it go it will go down all the way now once you've done that and you've got that lens in there you then need to focus this and again the way you do this is plug in the camera into a tv get something put your glasses on if you need them and then focus it the way you want it focused and that's very important now this is where you get to laugh laugh your, your, your belly off a little bit um, it is a bit untidy here okay I mean well, you know but there's also holes there okay and it's also the fact that the lens is gonna move yeah let me turn around but the lens the lens can still turn and that's absolutely no use to you so we came up with the um, the high-tech version it's called these three rubber bands okay which are not there now there they go three little rubber bands okay and when you put the rubber band over the top like this it's got to be quite small so basically it's got to be smaller than the the opening and then you pop that over there and now you put one on there can you see that's i mean that's actually sealed okay now these are not very good ones these actually i need slightly thicker ones than these and you could do it with one but what you find is that that lens is now pretty much held in place so what i do is i put one or two more on okay yeah and now those elastic bands are holding that in the focus position yeah won't go anywhere and also it's keeping the crap out of the holes now i know it's a tacky tacky little way of doing it but it works and it works very well but choose your elastic bands well um when we um, do them, we are going to be putting these together for people. We, this is what we're going to do, but we're going to get better elastic bands, we, we get better better rubber, etc. We just get something that pops over there, solid. Now, the good thing about that is, all I have to do is, if I want to refocus it, I mean, I can just take two off. Let's just let me do it that way. I can just take it off again, yeah. Unscrew it. Okay. And you, you'll see the elastic band the elastic band is around we just take it off and that it's as simple as that okay hopefully you get that it's very very simple so just screw it back in and this is my one so I've got to actually go I've got to go and refocus this now focusing I mean it's literally do it down as far as you can you just have to go down and then bring it down and up a bit it does focus it has to go quite some way down once you're there Plug it into your TV, turn it on, make sure the AV out's on, switch on in the software, and, and then just do this and get the focus to how you want it, and then put the rubber bands around it, and away you go. And that, and, and that is all there is to it. I mean, it's it's not rocket science. Um, so um, I, th I think that just about covers everything. So um, 
these uh, you've probably seen the some of the samples I'm doing with these. Uh, the, these are quite nice actually. The, the resolution, the Xiaomi in a, in a two-way rig. Uh, let me go back to this. Right, the Xiaomi's in a two-way rig um, give nice results. Uh, in fact, actually, what I could do, um, well, I think I, I, it just I, I, I'll go to the go to the page for this to my Shapeways page. Um, I'll put a link in the uh, video. Go to Shapeways. And if you scroll down, in fact, actually, if I scroll down, you can... Uh, new samples. Yes, here's a sample. There's a link here that says sample videos. Here we go. So I'll click on this. Now, you end up with... Oh, no. These are 60 frames per second. I've got a few on here. Um, so if I click on that one, let's actually fill that hole. Let me fill that up. So you can see... You can see this, and let's find it at 60 frames a second. Um, have I got a full page one here? No, I don't think I have, have I? That's because I've got this in the way, haven't I? Hang on, let's let's open it up in a um, new tab. See if I can make it look a bit better for it. Oh, God, no. No, that's no good, is it? <laughs> oh, there you go. That's what I wanted to do. Right, we didn't do it last time. Why is that? Oh, come on, let's pick another one. Okay, so you get quite good results. And you can see, let me turn that, let me turn this volume off. You get, we get actually really nice results, that should be fair. Um, the resolution is uh, 1080, well, the, the resolution is actually quite interesting because, um, let's pause this, uh, I get about, Roughly twenty one fifty by about ten sixty, up to twenty two hundred by. Um, I've had it go up to uh, eleven fifty twelve hundred. So you can either scale it up a little tiny bit or scale it down a fair bit to get to ten eighty. Uh, so twenty one sixty by ten eighty, uh, but that's a sixty frames a second. Um, which is which is very good, I, th I think. And you have a look at samples, make your own mind up. But it's no good for virtual reality. Right? It's no doubt about it. No good for virtual reality. Now, uh, as I've mentioned before, people are buying this, and I've been very straight. And if you look at the, the page for these um, for the, the duos, um, the people are buying them. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, uh, but and, and I have mentioned in the video that there is a new version. Of camera that's coming so what we're doing is we have a 4k camera coming and these are these are like 2k cameras um, if I, I don't know if it's going to be up to the job yet I really don't it should be here in about a week's time uh, if if it is I mean you're talking the earliest you're talking about this being ready is a month okay um, there it is you now bear this in mind it if it's good enough um, it will do a 4K output, but it's 24 frames per second. Okay, now that's movie speed. Um, a lot of videos out there at 25 frames per second. Ideally, people like to get 30, and I understand that. So it might not be for you. Um, 60 frames per second at 4K is is quite some way away. Okay, um, and um, but we'll put, if it works okay, we're probably going to be assembling them and selling them as complete units as well. So um, to save people doing this, so this is it's going to be more expensive. All right, but the, these I still think are really, really good. All right, I leave it to choice to you, because um, as, as you know, I don't, I don't, I don't do this. I don't. It's not my living. Yes, it gives me some money to buy, pay for bits and pieces, but it, I don't make my living out. So I don't mind if you use it or not. Um, but I still think these have got legs. Uh, I'm going to go away the, uh, the weekend, and we're going to film the Lake District, and I'm going to do some. The one thing I think this is actually really, really good for, and I've not seen anyone do it yet, and I'm going to do it the weekend, is using the, the, the snapshot mode to take photographs. So, um, and then do slideshows of photographs. Now, bearing in mind, the video I record to get the resolution we have is uh, 1600 by 1200, which is pretty damn good, and that's at 60 frames a second. But, this can take snapshots of 4,500 by about 3,500. So, you're gonna get a huge resolution for photographs, and there's great potential here for panoramic photographs in headsets like literally probably coming in the 6k region now it's a photograph which means you don't got to worry about decoders so i think there's a lot of potential there and and this camera can do it so no one's done it as yet no one's and i'll probably 
and maybe we'll be the first that actually does it but who knows um but it's i think it's worth having a look at so um anyway there you go so now you know how to do it um as i said if you do yours and break it i did warn you right you know don't do if you've got bad eyesight if you've got bad eyesight it's a bad idea um i i started doing it and i just couldn't and thankfully the wife i said it'd probably take her half hour she did it five minutes quite embarrassing but there you go right so that's it really um uh any questions come back to me um and thanks so much